Hello, in this video we are going to talk about lipid rafts. Lipid rafts are functional membrane microdomains. These regions are characterized by highly ordered and highly packed lipid molecules. Lipid rafts are slightly thicker than the nearby membrane counterparts. The lipid rafts contain high level of sphingolipids and cholesterol. Cholesterol act like dynamic glue which hold this domain together. Now let's talk about how one can identify lipid raft in the membrane. So lipid raft are resistant to detergents like Triton X100. If we add these kind of non-ionic detergents, membrane would be dissolved. But lipid raft is resistant to this kind of detergent and it would remain and that is one of the way by which you can extract lipid rafts. Lipid rafts serve as organizing center for assembly of several signaling receptors. So from a cell signaling point of view, lipid raft is really important. Now lipid raft clusters several cell signaling receptors, signaling molecules which would enhance the chance of these effectors to come closer and transduce signal insight. Now let's get uh, a better sense of lipid raft proteins. There are three categories of proteins named as true resident proteins, signaling receptors and proteins and cytoskeletal elements. So the true resident proteins include GPI anchored protein, caveolin, flotillin. The signaling receptor proteins might include G protein coupled receptor. It might also involve receptor tyrosine kinase. Actually, many receptors are associated with lipid raft and they form a receptor cluster complex actually. Then there are other cytoskeletal proteins such as uh, actinin and myosin can be associated with it. There could be adhesion molecules like cadherins, integrins, which can be found in the lipid raft. Other than that, glycoproteins and uh, several uh, glycations can also be found in the lipid raft. Now there are two subtypes of lipid raft. One in, is known as type 1 and another is type 2 lipid raft. Type 1 lipid raft is small flush shape uh, invagination that is highly enriched in caveolin and often is involved in caveolin mediated endocytosis. And type 2 lipid raft which is also known as the linear lipid raft is mostly found in neurons and are highly enriched in the protein flotillin. Lipid rafts are pretty much dynamic in nature. They can fuse with each other and forming a bigger lipid raft and a big lipid raft can split from each other and forming smaller lipid, lipid rafts. So overall, they are pretty dynamic. Concentration of lipid raft would also determine the membrane fluidity. If you want to learn more about the techniques by which you can learn membrane fluidity, you can click on the I button. Anyway, let's talk about the functional aspect of lipid raft. We'll take one example. Lipid raft play very important role in the events of B cell activation. All the B cell receptors, which are membrane bound antibodies, are getting associated in this lipid rafts. And this lipid raft holds several kinases such as Ling, Psyche, all of these together in this signaling unit. And this allows the signaling to be activated in a stronger fashion. In case you want to learn more about B cell activation in details, you can click on the I button. So this is all about lipid rafts. It's a brief video. All the notes are associated with this lipid raft can be found in my Facebook page. You can click on the link which is provided in the description. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support my channel in Patreon. Uh, link is provided in the I button, uh, provided in the description as well. My courses are present in Unacademy using my code AP10. You will get a 10% discount. I am present in almost all social media by this particular name. All the social media links are provided in description as well. See you in next video.